Fisheries biologists will tag about 3,000 walleyes at Lake Sakakawea this year. Tagging studies allow us to, to look at a few things. One, uh, mortality, both natural mortality and angling mortality, uh, which gets at what the exploitation rates are of the walleyes. And movements, uh, where are these fish different times of the year, where do they move, uh, their tendencies to, to home back to the same spawning grounds year after year. Frida says this is a first of a four-year study on Lake Sakakawea. There is additional information biologists can collect from the tagging study too. We also can monitor harvest by size of these walleyes and determine is there more exploitation of a certain sized fish than there is of others and also by sex too if there's higher exploitation of males than females or vice versa. The study was initiated on Lake Sakakawea now because the walleye population is exceptional. It gives us a snapshot of the fishery with a, with a high abundance of fish and also an excellent size structure, fish of all sizes and a lot of real big fish too. Another similar study is underway on Elkline Lake in South Central North Dakota. It receives a lot of attention from anglers. On the flip side, it's also a very large fishery. But it's a lake, uh, given the attention it seems, its importance and use as a walleye fishery, we want to make sure we've got the most effective regulations in place uh, for maintaining good fishing here for years to come. Bailey and fisheries crews tagged around 2,000 walleyes this spring for a one-year study on Alkaline Lake. Uh, the main piece of information we hope to get from these tagging studies is an estimate of exploitation or a better understanding of the proportion of fish that anglers are harvesting every year from this fish population. Both Bailey and Frida say when anglers catch a tagged walleye, treat the fish like you normally would by either harvesting or releasing it. It's important for anglers to report the tag information for the overall management of these two popular fisheries. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.